an update on the weather. I need to know that Annalise, one of the things we really need right now is rain. Still didn't happen at my house yesterday. I don't know if anybody in your neighborhood got some rain. Uh, our neighborhood got some, Karen. I, I'm sorry. I feel bad bragging because I know we're all kind of like wanting some. And I posted a video on uh, Instagram and had a few friends reach out like, you're kidding me. You got the rain. So I, I will tell you it lasted about 15 minutes, <laughs> but that was about it. I was not going to complain, though, for a little rain in the yard. As we take a look right now, things are dry. I'm not seeing any wet weather. If you're trying to get going early on this uh, Thursday, we are going to be able to say dry roadways and easy weather conditions are around. We've got temperatures back in the 70s, so we are taking a look at the numbers coming in from DFW uh, in right around 80 degrees, but the majority of the Metroplex starting back in the 70s, dew point of 74, it actually makes it feel like mid 80s right now. And then as you can see, winds out of the southeast at eight, we will see those winds be a little bit more easterly throughout the day today. Our numbers right now, Rockwall, you're heading out to 76. Uh, Terrell, you're there as well. Over to Keller, it's 80 degrees, and then Decatur at 76 degrees to start it off. Through the day today, we should be able to see a lot more sunshine throughout the day. I know the past couple of days have kind of featured those heavy clouds the first half. I think we see more sun, and of course, the flip side is that the temperatures will respond. We won't get the benefit of clouds and rain. We will see temperatures bounce into the mid 90s. That light went out of uh, the southeast at 10, and just the slightest chance of a stray shower during the afternoon. That would mainly be up near the Red River. A lot to talk about tropical wise. We are talking about this tropical depression now that does continue to make its way through the Gulf. And this is the one that is making an impact by this weekend to coastal Texas. So we are expecting for this to strengthen into uh, tropical storm Hannah. So that would be our eighth named storm of the Atlantic season. And as we take a look, it will continue on through the day today, nearing the Texas coast by the time we get to Friday evening. And I think overnight, probably Friday and into early Saturday is when it would make that landfall there across southern Texas, probably somewhere close to Corpus Christi. But of course, the rain will be more widespread than that in southern and central Texas. We'll get the benefits of the majority of this rainfall. So some heavy rain in the forecast for them, just some lighter, isolated chances for us as we head towards the weekend. But we will at least see some clouds and temperatures stay slightly below average.